Let's take a look at setting up an ESP-based device with an SD card reader. We'll use the ESP Pixel Stick V4 firmware and set it up as an FPP remote so that it will place sequences locally only using sync packs from your FPP player. So in the flash tool, we'll see that we're using the development release. I'll include a link to this distribution, but in the future when it's updated to a full release, I will update the link in the description. First, we will put in our Wi-Fi information. In my case, I'm using a DIG quad with the AE Plus board, so I'll select that from the hardware. We'll see that it's connected to our serial port using USB, and we'll go ahead and click Upload Images. The Flash tool will then erase the ESP, build the bitten file, and upload it to the board. complete, we can see the device is up and connected to our network. It will also give us the IP address that was assigned that we can use to set up the device now in Xlights. So over in Xlights, we'll use the Add Ethernet button, give our device a name, and under Vendor, we will pick ES Pixel Stick, and under the model, we will pick the 4.x version. In this case, I have a ESP32. We'll leave auto layout and auto size checked and leave auto upload unchecked. Under active, we will change this to X lights only because we will be using it as a FPP remote, so only sending sync packets and not full pixel data. We can enter the IP address that was shown in the flash tool. And we'll change the protocol to DDP as it's more efficient. Also, as this is an ESP device, we will uncheck the keep channel numbers because we want the channels to start at 1 when they're sent to the controller. So we can go ahead and save that. Then under visualize, we can assign some props to the controller. In this case, I have some of my Halloween layout. One thing to note is if you are not going to use all your ports, currently in x -Lights, you need to assign consecutive ports starting at 1. If you skip a port, then it will crash x -Lights when doing the upload to the controller. So we can go ahead and save those. And then use Upload Output. And we will see confirmation that the upload to the controller is complete. So let's click Open and go to the controller's website. Here we can see the controller is up and connected. If we go to device setup, you'll see that all our outputs were enabled. The primary input was set to DDP. And we have all the pixel counts set on the controller. The only thing we need to do is change the secondary input to FPP remote. And then all the way at the bottom, we can save changes. You also see we have the tab for file management, meaning that our SD card is seen by the controller. Now we can take a sequence, we go through tools, FPP connect, and you will see that the ES Pixel Stick firmware is recognized on our controller as a remote. And then we also have our Raspberry Pi that acts as our player, since we're using remote mode and only multi-sync, we can leave the UDP out as none. And then we'll take our test sequence and we can click upload. The process to upload to an ESP device is a little slow, so we'll speed this up. Now that that's complete, we can see in our controller that the sequence is uploaded. So let's go ahead and hop over into FPP and make sure everything's set up. If we go to multi-sync, we can see the new controller there. We'll go ahead and turn on unicast for that, which will prompt us to restart FPPD. If we go back to our status page, we can then play the sequence. And we can see on 
the ESP Pixel Stick that we are receiving FPP Remote Sync Packets and the sequence is playing. 